Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. So a few days ago I did my video on what I think the Beatles and the solo members will be releasing during 2022. And then the day after, they go and announce that the Get Back movie is coming out on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, which I think took most of us by surprise. I don't think we were really expecting an announcement that soon. But here it is, it's, it's coming on. Well, when is it coming on? It's been stated as February the 8th. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about that date in a moment because I'm not 100% sure that that's what it's going to be. I could be wrong, but let's see. Let's go back to this announcement then that the, uh, the Beatles camp made a couple of days ago. And it was very odd. It was very strange. It was, it was kind of a half-hearted announcement with not much enthusiasm it felt about the Blu-ray and DVD release of the Get Back movie. It was tied in with the announcement that they're going to be showing uh, a cut down 100 minute version of the movie uh, at various IMAX cinemas. Which is great news if you live near one of them. Personally at the moment I don't. There's one showing in London which is uh, many many hours round trip and I am not paying 40 quid for a cinema ticket. That is not going to happen. Uh, if it comes nearer to me and the price is reasonable, I would love to go and see that. I've got some IMAX theatres near me, so I'm fingers crossed they're going to announce some more dates at uh, not silly prices. But we will see. But yeah, this this announcement it was strange. It was just it was almost kind of like an an afterthought at the end of the message about the uh, the IMAX release, which was a bit weird. It feels like it's worthy of an announcement on its own. It's led to an awful lot of speculation, an awful lot of comments. I've got my own thoughts on it and a lot of you have been letting me know your thoughts, which I appreciate. Uh, and I thought I'd just take a little bit of time to go through what I was thinking and, and what I think about some of the thoughts that people have been sending in my direction. So what some people are saying is, well, this is just a, a, a bare bones release issued quickly to try and reduce the bootleggers market. I don't know whether that's true or not. It could be, that might have something to do with it. And you know what, if that's the case, I think that's fair enough. I think they've got every right to say, well, we know that somebody, we know that people have bootlegged this product, but here is an official version that you can have instead as, in, as, in as good a quality as, as you're likely to see. So I think that's a perfectly valid tactic if that's what's happened. And we don't know for definite whether that is the case. Uh, so, Another thing that people have said is, well, it's not been released in 4K. If, if you've seen it on Disney Plus and you've got the facility for it, then you may well have watched it in 4K. And at the moment, it's been released on Blu-ray, which doesn't go up to that resolution. Personally, I'm not too fussed about that. I think with 53-year-old footage, obviously it's been very well restored. I, I personally can't really sort of see how much benefit you're going to get from Blu-ray up to 4K. If it was something brand new shot, then I can certainly see the benefit and I, and I love watching things in 4K but personally I don't really see the benefit of going up to 4K uh, on this particular release. That may well come in the future, I don't know. Now another big thing that people have been saying is there are no extras with this and certainly on the face of it that appears to be the case although the announcement was so sort of matter of fact and, and, and lacking in detail that maybe there are some extras that we just don't know about yet. Let's assume for one moment that there aren't any. Okay, let, let's think about how how we might feel about that. Well, Peter Jackson's been talking about this in various interviews lately, and essentially his view is we've had the extras already. You'll remember that when it was announced that it wasn't just going to be a theatrical release, that actually it was coming straight to Disney, and it was announced as being a six-hour movie uh, albeit over three parts and it was like wow mind blowing six hours when they eventually announced the timings for each episode we realized that hang on a minute this is actually pretty much eight hours an extra two hours of footage what peter jackson's been saying in interviews lately is that uh, because he was getting the vibe from disney that when a physical product came that there would be no extras uh, included because disney don't th really think that there's a market for it this kind of worried him at that time and he decided, well, he's seen this footage, he's seen all this 50 odd hours of footage, there were certain parts of it that he really thought that he couldn't justify having him seeing and then it being locked up in a vault for God knows how long. So he, at that moment, 
decided that without consulting the Beatles or their estates, and without consulting Disney, he added another two hours to the movie at that point, bringing it up to almost eight hours. That's what we're getting on the DVD and Blu-ray. So in effect, it was kind of signed off as a six hour movie. We got eight hours. We had the two hours of bonus footage back in November. The way that I'm trying to think of it, you know, I try and put a positive spin on things. If we'd have been offered, if we'd have got the six hour version then and been offered it now with a bonus two hours, we might have all been thinking, brilliant, we've got another two hours of footage. Well, that's what we've got. We just happened to get it a couple of months earlier as well, straight into Disney Plus. So I I realise if there is no extras, that I would be disappointed, for example, if we didn't get an option to just view the rooftop concert as it is. Uh, I said before in my video the other day, I really like how Peter Jackson's done it, where he's done it, he's told it as a story about how the Beatles were battling against the police trying to come and stop the, the concert and shut it down, and he told it as a great story. But I would really like to see an option on this Blu-ray and DVD for you to just watch the, the concert without all the other distractions. As much as I love them and as much as how interesting they are, because I love watching footage of sort of old Britain and what it used to be like, I would love to see just the concert. So it would be disappointing if that at least wasn't an option on it, as, as well as many other things that people might want to see. But again, that's leading people to say, well, this is just a bare bones release now, no extras. They're getting it out to um, to get around the, the bootleggers. And as I've said, if that's the case, fine by me. But does it mean that there's gonna be another version coming further down the line that does, that they've taken a bit more time over and, and, and maybe does have a 4K option and maybe does have all these other extras? We don't know, possibly. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if further down the line that happens. Another thing that people are saying is that, uh, well, why doesn't this include the original Let It Be movie? I think that is absolutely worthy of a standalone release on its own. Um, again, I would have been the first to have been sort of saying, yes, the Let It Be movie's in there, brilliant, and it isn't, okay, but I think we may get that as a standalone release at some time. Michael Lindsay Hogg, the director of the original Let It Be film, again, just very recently has been on record as saying it is coming as per what the Beatles announcement uh, about three years ago now told us. They said it would be made available. Michael Lindsay Hogg is sticking by that now and saying that that is gonna happen. So again, I think, could it be that some sort of more expanded release comes along in the future? That would, would they include it in there or would it have its own standalone release? Which I think it's certainly capable of, of, of having. So again, we'll see how that uh, happens. I've heard some people say it's a cash grab. Well, I'm not having any of that, to be honest. I, the, the whole term cash grab is one that I very, very rarely like to use. I think we all have a choice in this. You know, we can either pay our money or we don't have to. Nobody's forcing anybody to hand over the cash on this. Uh, so, personally, I, I don't like the cash grab um, argument. And I, I think another good thing with this is that for there are people who can't subscribe to Disney Plus. It's not available in all countries, for example. Uh, and there's people, for whatever reason, don't want to subscribe to Disney Plus. Fair enough. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with the cost argument because it's, you know, subscribing to Disney Plus for a month was far, far cheaper than either a cinema ticket or a DVD or Blu-ray was ever going to be. But if you don't want to subscribe to Disney, if you don't want to give them your cash, fair enough, you've now got a chance to actually buy this although it's distributed through the Disney label so you're still going to be giving your cash to Disney in the long run if you buy this so I think there's quite a lot of with any Beatles release there's always people who don't like what we're getting and we should have had more and I can I can understand I can understand that to an extent with this I think I, th I think the the big disappointment here would be if this is the only release we get now if we do get another release further down the line, I think it would have to have some serious bonus content in it to make it worth people actually paying out again for it. So we'll see. I've got my order in. Of course, I'm all, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this stuff, and I would no doubt buy an expanded package if that comes out again. So I'm looking forward to this on February. Now I said earlier on, uh, it was announced as February the eighth, which 
seems a little unusual to me um, because February the 8th is not the right day of the week for uh, when DVDs and Blu-rays are released but February 28th would be and I wonder if there was a two missed off the announcement because Feb 28th not only would be the right day of the week but also there's been a kind of a not an assumption as such but a thought that uh, maybe Disney Plus had a three month exclusivity window on this and if it was the 28th that's that takes us beyond that three month period because it was released on I think November 25th uh, on Disney Plus it would take us past a, a potential three month window that a lot of people thought it was my Amazon order certainly says release date February 28th but this this strange sort of little half-hearted announcement by the Beatles says February the 8th I've also heard from people who've ordered it in the US who uh, have said that their order details say that it's coming around about that date now that might be right or it might be that that's retailers basing that on the announcement that they've seen but I wouldn't be surprised if you see that this release is actually the back end of February but we will see that, that that's my speculation based on uh, sort of days of the week and exclusivity windows and what Amazon's saying basically as well so uh, yeah it's it certainly come sooner than we thought but uh, there was quite a lot of people saying that we were never going to get a physical release of this I never ever believed that for one second uh, and I'm glad to see that that's not the case but let me know in the comments are you going to be getting this are you going to wait until uh, a, a bigger potential release comes down the line that might never come or it might come later this year uh, let me know what you think and I would uh, love to hear from you and I'll see you again very soon cheers bye bye